and welcome to my channel. My name is Penny and I'm coming to you from Northern Ontario, Canada, where it is very chilly. I have a lot of stuff made this month, well over 60 things I believe, and let's get to it. There's a lot. The first thing I finished January 1st was I put the last section of my crochet watt rocks on. This section is for the Tragically Hip. They are a Canadian band and they are one of my favorite bands and they're created not too far away from me. I have seen them live and it was one of the best experiences of my life. I added a single row of double crochet around just to round off the corners and finish it off, look, make it look like it's done. It is quite a substantial blanket. And I'm sure someone at the seniors home will like it. Because right now our hospice doesn't need any blankets, which is, that's a good thing though, right? This year for Christmas, I got yarn from two lovely men in my life. My grandson bought me a ball of yarn and I used it all in this cowl except for about six inches. It's just a V-stitch cowl with a single crochet edge on both sides. It's tight fitting because that's the way I like my cowls to be. Um, it's good because it can come up over your face, but it's holy enough that your exhale should get out, not cause ice buildup in here. So I like that. When we went to the dentist with him the other day, he was as proud as punch because he bought grandma the ball of wool that she used to make cowl. The second yarn I got, <clears throat> excuse me for left le leaning ahead, was from my mister. He um, does not like to go into the yarn section at any store, but he did manage to go in and bought me this beautiful yarn. It's a Red Heart Comfort. I had another ball, so I made this beautiful baby blanket for Aurora, who is due next month. It's a, a friend of mine's son. He uh, lives out of town, so at least maybe he'll have a chance to have it by the time the baby comes. But apparently you're not supposed to be putting blankets on babies anymore, so I'm gonna have to check into that and see what that's all about, because if, if parents aren't gonna be using the blankets, there's no point to continue to make them. One of the squares this month was make a wall hanging. Um, my granddaughter decorates her door for all the different seasons and she has already tried to snag my little wall hanging. Um, she's coming over later today, so I'll let her have it now. But that was for a bingo square. No other reason to make it than she likes that kind of stuff and it was a bingo square that I could do easily enough. The next thing I have to show you is Judy at Witch Bees Craft is doing another make-along this year, only till June, and it's a travel vacation make-along. So this is my specimen so far. Um, we have the four colors of can, like the sun and sand, well no not sun, but the reef and water colors and beach and that kind of thing. And because it was already the green and blue were used in the Australia, I just carried on with the rainbow color for pride because when Judy talked in her video, there was uh, uh, pride information. Then I finally got all of my um, customs and stuff straightened out. And I got to Ireland on time, and the first thing I did was hit the, the pub for a beer. Had a black and tan. I think that's what she called it. I really have to check that. And then, of course, the shamrocks and the blue flower that I can't remember the name of, but I'll put it down here. So far, it's pretty. I like that it's got a different color every stripe. Yes, there's going to be a lot of ends, but I plan on attempting to do an envelope type border. I don't know if you can do an envelope on 
the ripple, but I will at least do the sides in an envelope somehow. Um, the next thing I made was, I'm just going to use the little things first, was a soap sack for myself. I have to buy a special soap. And when you throw out those little pieces, it's like putting money in the garbage can. So I'm going to try this. I have never tried a soap sack. So, and I had this, this out because I was making these little face scrubbies. That is grandma's favorite, um, dishcloth pattern, only a lot smaller. I think they're cute. And there's seven of them, and I made them for a friend, and I plan on giving them to her soon. And then, had a palooza. Mimi at um, Mimi's, Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming is having a bought a uh, bag of days, had a palooza. And this is the blue beanie from week one. And this is the sun hat, bucket hat, from week two. I made it out of cotton, and I'm going to keep that one for myself. Um, week, week three, I believe, was cables, cabled hat. Um, I really enjoyed this and will visit this pattern again. I did already. Uh, I made a child, a smaller child size one. Um, I really, really like this. I, I'm thinking Afghan, but you know me. <laughs> Too many Afghan projects. I don't have the baby hat. I already gave it away, but I will insert a picture here. <laughs> and this is last week's. And apparently she's picked the pink, jazzy pink hat, pink beanie this week. So we will be doing that as soon as I get to some pink yarn. Um, it's minus 25, and I always like to drop off hats at the post office in really cold temperatures because I've been out and about and not had my hat, forgot my hat, and I have had my ears almost freeze. I don't forget a hat now because my hair is so short, but I've been there, and I make hats. I have this yarn. I like to knit. Why not? So this one will be being donated in the post office shortly. Friday is the high is minus 25. So it'll go in there probably Thursday night or Friday morning. I tend to do gender neutral. And um, this one's got some pink on it. So I will save it for another project that we can talk about later. And I just a whole pink one. So those ones will go into my Christmas box. I don't have my little penguin. So this is another pride and joy, only because of the person I made these for. I made these for a lovely lady. There, there's 40 of them. Um, all backpack buddies, snowman backpack buddies. Backpack buddies, not bunnies, words. Um, she's a dear sweet friend of mine and she's taking them to Belize. The kids in Belize don't ever see snow. And um, I will insert pictures of all 40 of them. I won't make you sit here and watch every last one. But I just pulled out my little scrap bin and kept making different colored hats. And there is no two hats the same color in here. Hi, editing Penny here. When I was editing this video, I realized I forgot one of my whips. It was a dog bed for Chai. The last thing I have to show you, and it's the proudest thing I've got to show you, is I've talked about two round grannies and two round grannies for years now. And I've been making two round grannies for years now. Every time I had, I had tons of scraps, I went through them all and used all the different colors I could. And I sorted them all in a bag, and I had a big bag full of two round grannies. And I, I've tried to join them multiple different ways with black and white and cream. I've tried gray. I've tried single crocheting them together, whip stitching them. Nothing looked good. Nothing looked good. And then somewhere along the line, I'm not sure if it was Judy or Mad Mimi, somebody, somebody, maybe it could have been Charmed Grammy, 
said Battenberg. And boom, the light went off in my head. Years ago, when she posted that video, I tagged it. And that's when my two round grannies was starting in my mind. So I have attempted to start a Battenberg type blanket. I have a little tail here because I was learning how to join these type squares together. And I thought this would be the best way. It turns out it's not. I have a progress keeper on here. It's a little angel that came from Robin. And there is eight squares by 13 rows completed. I know I have a long way to go, but this is pretty dense and heavy. So it might end up being a throw for my sofa instead of a two, a king, a queen size blanket for my bed. I would never use it as a blanket on my bed. It would, if it's too hot, I won't use it. So I'm excited. It is, you know, there's a lot of ends. Here's the back. I like the back just as much as I do the front. Um, there's there's two ends per square. But that's okay. I don't mind doing ends. That's it. That's all I have to share. Thanks. And if you get a chance, play with a little bit of yarn.